You can design a game where you won't need a keyboard at all. I mean, some of the most successful mobile games just use simple touch input. Even still, you may want to get keyboard input when you want to submit a high score, name a save game, or do anything that involves string input from a user. Text field is the way to achieve that. It works just as you would expect like text fields and websites, for example. They even automatically allow you to tab from one field to the next. When you have sensitive data, activating the password mode hides user input with a chosen character. Text field is for a single line, though. If you need more lines, its sibling, the text area, allows the user to press enter to go down to the next line. Let's start with the text field style. Text fields require a font and a font color to represent the text that the user types. There is also a separate field called message font. Consider this as a way to show hint text in the text field when the user hasn't entered anything into the box. Typically, you'll choose a light color for the message font color and a darker, more vivid color for the font color. As always, tinting works best when the source texture is white. So make sure that when you create the font that you draw the characters with white. You should set a background to represent the box for the text field. Users often associate white boxes with a dark outline as something you can type in. Make sure to accommodate for some padding to ensure that the text doesn't seem squished against the border in your 9 patch. When the user clicks in your text field, this sets the stage's keyboard focus to the widget and activates the focused background. This can have a brighter border to make it stand out from the rest of your fields in your scene. Or you can simply not specify it and it will always show the default drawable background. Another optional background is the disabled background. This is usually a washed out gray or transparent fill to indicate that the field cannot be typed in. Don't forget to also set corresponding colors for focused font color and disabled font color. The cursor field represents the insertion point that shows the user's place in the text. This works best with a single pixel width line. The height will automatically adjust to the height of the font. You can experiment with different sized cursors, though it will be challenging to get it to be placed exactly where you want it to go. To indicate what characters the user has highlighted, you need to specify the selection field. This is drawn behind the text so you can feel free to use an opaque drawable. LibGDX does not do anything fancy like inverting the color of selected text. Using a 1x1 one one pixel texture of a vibrant color that contrasts with the background and the text is usually enough. Text field style can be applied to both text field and text area. You just have to make sure that your background drawable can be stretched horizontally and vertically. Now that you have a style created, we'll start coding. This is a text field. Enter the default text in the quotes or leave it blank. Using text area is nearly identical, however you can input more than a single line of text. You can specify how many lines are visible by default. Text fields have a default preferred width of 150. Make sure to specify a width if you want a different size. You can select text in a text field programmatically, but you won't be able to see it unless the keyboard focus is set. Setting keyboard focus is important when you are starting a new screen or showing a dialog, so don't forget to call the stage method. Password mode hides the text you type with a character of your choosing. This is usually the asterisk or the bullet symbol if you choose to add that to your font supported characters. Text fields are automatically programmed to traverse to the right and below when you press tab on the keyboard. This is based on the stage positions of each widget. If you don't like this order, you can modify this functionality. You need to override the next method in each text field and call your own method to handle the order. You can simply disable focus traversal if you don't need it. That's it for text fields. The next tutorial is on trees and lists. Good luck, GDXers! The 10 commits you've made today have made it the most productive day in your life. But for me, it's just a Tuesday.